Entire town is evacuated early this morning after a train derails, setting off a fire as an engine and two rail cars carrying ethanol crash. Now, the severe weather that rolled through across Pike County last night that we told you about, that could have actually played a big role in the CSX train accident. 13 News reporter Cassidy Wood has been on the scene all day. We go to her live now. And Cassidy, what is the scene like now? Yeah, Rob and Jennifer, well, this crash happened earlier this morning, and yet there are still crews out here. That speaks to how big this crash really was. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can get a better picture of what is going on here. Now, again, this is hours after this crash happened, yet there's still smoke. You can't really see it right now because a tree is blocking it, but there still are flames uh, that are completely, there's a, a train car that's still engulfed in flames and also this mud, the hillside is still sliding. Uh, crews are saying that they still see mud falling off of this hillside. And so uh, they are still working out here. Now take a look at some video we shot earlier today. So again, this crash happened at about seven this morning. A mudslide caused the crash of a CSX train carrying 96 loaded ethanol cars and two loaded rock cars. Kentucky State Police say two engines, engines fell into the second half of the Big Sandy River. A nearby neighborhood was immediately evacuated because of the potential dangers from the ethanol. Both CSX and Kentucky Police say the response to the crash was immediate from both employees and volunteers. Volunteer responders, you know, you get out of bed and come and do this type of thing. At that time of the morning, it's pretty quick response for the volunteers, and I'm proud of what they were able to accomplish. Now, as mentioned earlier, all of those evacuees are now back in their homes, but Kentucky State Police says this cleanup will take days. For now, live in Pike County, Kentucky, I'm Cassidy Wood, 13 News, working for you.